Is there a conspiracy to limit the fallout from Chicago police torture cases? Infamous former Chicago police commander John Burge has been sentenced to only four and a half years in prison after being found guilty for obstruction of justice and lying about torturing crime suspects into making confessions. Many feel that Burge got off lightly despite the doubling of his sentence under federal sentencing guidelines, which prosecutors argue was necessary due to the severity of his crimes. John Burge was not prosecuted for actual acts of torture he participated in or oversaw, and it seems unlikely he will be prosecuted for those acts even though torture is against international law. The International Criminal Court does not have universal jurisdiction due in large part to opposition by the United States and could only prosecute Burge under special circumstances. Furthermore, Burge's alleged crimes occurred before July 1, 2002, and the ICC can only prosecute crimes committed on or after that date. Mark Clemens, who is a torture victim of John Burge and on the board of directors and staff of Campaign to End the Death Penalty, will be appearing on Black Talk Radio News and Views January 26, 2011 at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time to discuss the many issues surrounding torture and the Chicago police. Also joining the broadcast will be Amanda Reed, the mother of still in prison alleged torture victim Gerald Reed, and Bertha Escamilla, whose son Nick Escamilla was released after 13 years under a no contest agreement with Illinois officials where he admitted no guilt or innocence. Some people in the social justice community feel that this was a maneuver to limit the financial or other liability by the state of Illinois for the alleged torture of Mr. Escamilla by Chicago police officers. Mark Clemens and other advocates believe that there is a possible cover-up and the public needs to learn of the extent of the torture and abuse committed for years by Chicago police and that all alleged victims need to have a fair hearing on their claims. Mark Clemens writes, A new special prosecutor should be appointed to investigate acts of torture committed by the detectives who worked under Burge after Burge was terminated by the Chicago Police Department in 1993. This investigation is needed to show a continued pattern of abuse at Area 2 and Area 3. There is also a concern that some judges currently sitting on the bench should not be allowed to conduct the hearings involving torture claims. Mark Clements says that Cook County judges, most who arise from the administration of Richard M. Daley when he was the Cook County State's Attorney, are now judges. When cases of torture come before them, they seek out ways to deny the men's claims despite granting the men hearings. Some of the cases that will be highlighted tonight on Black Talk Radio News and Views will be those of Kilroy Watkins and Claiborne Smith, both alleged Chicago Police Department torture victims who are both currently still in prison for crimes they maintain they did not commit. This is Scotty Reed, host of Black Talk Radio News and Views, asking you to join me tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, broadcasting from blacktalkradio.blogspot.com.